Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a challenges on a game that you guys will never believe, and a game that I've never played before on this channel. This game is of course Genshin Impact. These challenges, six, will have the power to change the entire game throughout this playthrough and will be mannered in a way that will suit YouTube more fairly and my commuter, my and my computer the same. Now into the challenges. The way I found out what to do was go to a random website that I had challenges of another game much similar, which would be Breath of the Wild, and I just basically copied them. These being no map teleportation, besides going in between realms, one artifact set, plus no upgrading these artifacts, no buying anything, no food, no paraglider, and fighting literally everything I see. I am really hopeful for what this series can obtain and how much hell I can make for myself. So, quickly after naming my character and having my brother die to this unknown god, I quickly made my way through the tutorial by killing a single slime and then killing a few more later on. Already starting off pretty cool. I move on uh, thinking about the strategies I will do and then see a camp somehow not seeing the other one to my right. I just murdered them after seeing a dragon float through the sky. Cool, a dragon. Yeah, that sucks. I am going to murder things. After making quick succession of the first Hurlitrio camp, I move on to another one that I saw. Uh, still don't know how I didn't see the right one. And then uh, I got the chests. Oh, by the way, cool tip, if you look behind these boxes, there's normally another chest. Just keep that in mind. Also, a quick fact, if you ever see boxes like that, just try and check behind it. Alright, I went into another cutscene location. And then we started walking through the trees as Paimon uh, clearly found out something, told me about it. So I hid behind a tree, listened to a conversation between a bard and a dragon, and it went something like this. Uh, don't be afraid, bitch. It's alright now, I'm back. And Paimon obviously was curious about this. I said, bruh. Dragon went, err, and then err. And then Venti uh, looked over at me. Bar, uh, dragon got mad and then venti just fucking outied oh here's the amber thing where her foot goes through it they just watch i'm pretty sure her foot manages oh uh, no maybe it did I don't know. After meeting the objectively worst character in this game, I decided to make a decision that would last this whole entire playthrough and uh, ultimately lead to my demise. Yeah, we're friends. Then I put this uh, character to use by just popping a few enemies along the way. Pop, 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 pop. I'm so fucking good at this game. Then, of course, I came with one of the struggles of this challenge, which is I couldn't eat food. Which means I had to do the cooking quest, and I was really bad at cooking, dude. I, I tried, I tried. This is the reason why I can't cook food or eat it. Aw, oh, fuck, it was terrible. It was ter- I'm just- uh, I'm sorry, it's just- I'm not a very good cook. You have to- you have to give me a second. I'm very sorry. After poisoning the young lady and then moving on to murdering countless birds and reminding Temmie of his father. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I moved into Mondstadt where Amber led me around. <laughs> How could I be so foolish? Alright. Okay, so you see what happened is I just stopped my character 
Um, the problem here is that uh, you can't do this mission without a glider. So all I did is I just went down and went to go walk to her and just bubbled my way through. Just to stop myself from gliding because it's such a useful fucking item. Okay, for this storm, you're going to want to uh, look at Amber real quick and just have her do everything instead of you. Which is, of course, impossible because she's a terrible character and shouldn't be part of this game. Okay, so technically, I didn't start the wind glider, so that isn't my fault. And then, we didn't start the wind glider either. Not my fault. Now, in true fashion, I'm going to be pressing space. I cannot get rid of the wind glider here. Um, so... So we're just gonna keep on going down. This whole fight is gonna be holding down. It's basically not wind gliding if you're not controlling the wind. So basically what happens here is you come down on a wind glider. Uh, Amber feels the need to touch you. And uh, due to her touching you, Kea can't help but come in and clap since he's the best character. Bitch you cool as fuck, what the fuck you talking about? This is where I decided to end the episode, um, uh, please tell me if you would like to see more episodes in the future, uh, yeah, I just, I, I think I had a good time doing this one, I think I might follow up, and it's currently 4 at the time of saying this, so I will be going to bed. <laughs>